Hello, this is Chris Soborowski with NebulaWorks. Going to give you a quick demo of the new Docker machine uh, binaries. It's an easy way to allow you to spin up Docker hosts um, on uh, VMs or private or public cloud instances in order to test the Docker uh, functionality, Docker container functionality. So um, first thing you want to do is uh, head on over to the Docker uh, or the GitHub Docker Machine repository and grab two things. So the first thing that we're going to grab is the um, machine binaries themselves. And I'm going to get the driver for VirtualBox for Mac OS X. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the OS X Docker client binaries from the same uh, GitHub repository. And these this version is actually built with um, identity authentication. We're going to need that for are um, to communicate securely with the Docker uh, machine that we're building here. So um, both of those guys should be downloaded. I'm just going to do some qu quick housekeeping. I'm going to move um, Docker machine, uh, the Docker client binaries to Docker, and I'm going to move the machine binaries to machine just so I can easily find them and use them. And then uh, I'm going to make both of these. Let's make them executable. So. That's good. So the, very simply, we're going to do a machine create dash D. We're going to call it test. So we just created that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a Docker host against uh, on VirtualBox um, and call it test. And uh, so what we're, the machine will do now is it's going to go out and grab boot to Docker and uh, boot that up against VirtualBox, um, create some keys, and uh, get it up and running so we can start executing Docker commands against it. So um, there's a couple different drivers, um, one of which is the VirtualBox driver we're using here, um, but there's also drivers for DigitalOcean, uh, Microsoft Azure, Amazon EC2, and uh, there may even be a, a forked version out there for OpenStack um, and uh, another version for vSphere as well. So um, gives you some, uh, some different options for spinning up the Docker uh, containers depending on uh, or docker hosts on various different uh, virtual machines or instances um, depending on what your needs are if you have a either public cloud or a, uh, a private cloud open stack cloud so um, pretty simple we just need to um, go ahead and uh, you can see that the machine is running um, we just need to set the environment variables for the docker client to be able to doc talk to the um, to the uh, Docker host itself. So we're going to export Docker host. And set the identity type to um, authentication to identity. And now, Let me see, we don't really have anything running yet, so it's just as simple as executing normal Docker commands. So, new Docker run, and we're gonna echo the world from NebulaWorks. So, we're gonna pull that BusyBox uh, image down, fire it up, and execute Hello World. So, um, that is Docker Machine. Uh, Pretty easy way to get Docker up and running if you'd like to use Docker, if you've never used it before. If you have any questions, feel free to reach us, reach out to us at info at nebulaworks.com. Thanks.